Hello everyone, welcome to another quick tip in our Spotfire Mods mini series. Today, we're gonna to talk about the 3D scatter plot. And the nice thing about this 3D scatter plot is that it works in the web player. It works with streaming data, works with uh, in database data that you're pulling in. Uh, the 3D scatter plot that is in Spotfire does not work in the web player, but the mods does. It's uh, built in a way that it can be used in the web player and can be used with streaming data and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is a 3D scatter plot on wells. And look at this. I can just drag and move around and look at this well uh, that's being drilled. And this is pretty interesting little shape it's got here. Um, this is looking at uh, the TVD and it's looking at the easting and northing latitude. So you can also go ahead and turn off these axis selectors here because you're gonna have these names on your actual on your actual graph right here, on the actual chart. And so this keeps it from being, and look at that, it even moves to the other side there and lets me see it depending on what's in the best view. So let's go ahead and actually build this mod. Uh, we have the 3D scatter plot. So I'm gonna just drag and drop this in here. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's configure this. So I have nothing there, so it's just a dot in the middle of this space, right? And I wanna go ahead and I have my wells table. I'm gonna align this by my type so the type of well it is, I'm gonna order it by my data arrival time. So a lot of time in wells, it's gonna look at uh, when that time of uh, the product is coming through or if you're drilling, what, the time of the drill bit. So the data arrival time, and then let's look at X. This is gonna be my easting, and that is a way to talk about your uh, your latitude so or your longitude on a, a longitude coordinate. And then your latitude you can use for Y, and I'll, that'll be my northing as well. And then I want to go ahead and give it a Z and I'll give it my TBD as a Z. So there it is. Uh, that's quite that simple. I can color this by type as well. Um, now it looks just like the other one. Another cool thing about this, you're seeing this highlight, right? If I hover over a different point of a certain point, I get the values in the tooltips, but it's also showing it to me on the axes as well. So I can read this off the axes. That's what's really nice about this little interactive uh, display and interactive hovering capability. Now you download this and, and now you download and plug this in by going to spotfire.com forward slash mods and you'll see this nice mods page. Uh, this is the current gallery that we have and you can get the vertical line chart. You can get the 3D scatter plot mod. Go ahead and click this, go to learn more. It'll take you to our exchange. And then on our exchange, you'll be able to find a downloadable link. You go download this mod, gives you a zip file, open that up, take the .mod file, the mod file, and then just simply drag it and drop it into Spotfire. And then you got your mod. Save it to the library to share with others and save it to the library if you wanna pin it to your flyout. Uh, we've talked about this in the past. If uh, you need any more tips, uh, there's a plug and play mods video you can check out. But that about does it for today's session on our 3D scatter plot. Also can be a 3D line chart mod. Really simple to use. Uh, recommend going and grabbing that and using that if you need it. Use, useful in the web player, useful with streaming data. Make sure you check it out and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have a lot more mods tips coming out and other just Spotfire tips in general. Thanks and we'll see you next time.